when you do the criss cross method here to head here the and one the formula will be al oh taken thrice so this is the formula of aluminium trihydroxide aluminium hydroxide clear so this is the way you should identify first step is to write a chemical formula write down the symbol of the element then write down the charge then you can do the criss cross method right can write the formula clear so this is about how to write a chemical formula and next coming to the topic that is atoms and ions that already we have learned so here atoms are electrically neutral so yesterday we have one uh, conducted our exam when the atom is going to become electrically neutral when 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 it is going to become neutral when protons and electrons are when protons and electrons are same then we call it as neutral, neutral. suppose let us take one example number of protons okay here yes, protons yes shreyash what is your doubt Now, why do we write OH in the bracket? Okay, meanwhile, neutrons 8 and electrons 8. It's a neutral atom. Okay, if electrons and protons both are same, then we call it as what? Neutral. neutral. Okay, if suppose, if protons are 6 okay neutrons are 6 and electrons are 8 ion electrons are 8 here 6 electrons are there then number of electrons should be also 6 but what we have here 8 that is 2 electrons or more if more then we got we are gaining the electrons if the 2 electrons are less then 2 electrons are lost so this is called as what ion it is called as an ion that is the difference now we are able to identify what is ion and what is a neutral atom right okay and next so because there is the same number of protons and electrons okay okay ions are atoms or group of atoms with a charge we call it as what radical in the last class we have discussed okay they have different numbers of protons and electrons only electrons can move and ions are made by gaining or losing so here what happens electrons can move right but ions made by gain or loss of electrons so anion what is mean by anion the negative okay charge. the charge which is having negative an element which is having negative charge then we call it as anion so here what are the elements which are anions is that is non-metals so as we discussed in the last class in the periodic table we have metals non-metals and metalloids right so here metals are solid in nature all metals are solid except mercury mercury at room temperature it is liquid and coming to the metals are solids and non-metals are few of them are liquids and most of them are gases okay if you see this one like hydrogen. I'm supposed to have some, some doubt, huh? Uh, just to ask you to unmute the voice, Shreyash. Shreyash, unmute yourself. Shreyash, unmute. What is your doubt? I'm going to be right to OH in persons. Brackets, okay. Okay, why we, uh, Shreyash doubt is, why we are using hydroxide in brackets is, this hydroxide is a compound here. Aluminium is an element, hydroxide is a compound. More than one element, we call it as a compound. So that is the reason two atoms are there, we are going to close it in the brackets. Okay, that is ALOH taken thrice if i write like this al oh 3 al oh 3 if i write like this what happened means to all these three elements 
okay it is multiplied with 3 it is multiplied with 3 if i write like this only to the uh, uh, hydroxide ion it is multiplied with 3 now we already we have seen the crisscross method aluminium charge is 3 and hydroxide is 1 this is separate this is separate right so when we are going to do the crisscross method you are going to get the formula aloh taken thrice if i write like this all the three atoms are multiplied with the three but here aluminium is what you are going to get the valence here when we do the crisscross method that is one if i write like this what happened all the three atoms are multiplied with the three that is the reason shreyash understood Got clear? Yes, ma'am. Very spectre. Okay, if you see in the periodic table, just now I told you ions are having anions are nothing but the elements which are placed on the right hand side in the periodic table if you see this is the periodic table the right left hand side elements that is nothing but first a second a on these b group elements are metals and the right hand side elements that is p block elements we call it as non-metals here non-metals are nothing but Gases. gases most of them are gases very few are liquids so if you see here in the stress class i told you the last group elements are called as noble gases these are very stable elements right so here these noble gases okay are very stable we call it as zero group elements why we call it as zero group elements because the value. because when you see here the valency is zero the last group element eight minus eight then it is zero so it is a stable element right and coming to the seventh group element you can see here fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so these all are nothing but gases those are nothing but gases so non-metals are nothing but gases. gases most of them are gases so non-metals what is the charge of the non-metal uh, ne uh, ne charge of non-metal is Positive. what negative 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 it is nothing but anion anion charge is negative and cation charge is positive, positive. that is the difference between anion and cation. cation if you see here okay anion if you see this anion the charge will be negative okay and when we use in the electrical conductivity this anion okay we are going to tell it as cathode opposite and cation negative cation is positive okay. the charge of cation is positive and, and it's, it's uh, called as anode. what anode so just opposite anion negative charge when we use to the conductivity we use that cathode and cation positive that is anode that is the difference So here, negative ion, just nothing but it is going to gain the electrons. Charge is written as sub subscript on the right. So in the yesterday's class, we have done few questions. Charges are written on the right side. Right side. Mass number also is written at the top, or that is left side. And atomic number is written at the bottom. bottom. Okay, how they have given representation? x is an element z okay is an z is the atomic number a is, a is mass number and here we are going to give plus, plus or, or minus. minus charge plus or minus. minus charge okay what they are telling here charge is written as a subscript on the right and fluorine what is the charge one. one minus so it has gained one electron now this is going to end with the suffix what Hide. So, in the yesterday class, we have learned that is hydrogen chloride, HCl, HCl. Okay. So, why it is getting HCl? What is the name of HCl? Hydrochloric. Hydrochloric acid. Okay. But what is the name of that? That is a common name. 
hydrochloric acid is a common name and hcl is a what name chemical name of the compound how we are going to give the chemical name of the compound is here it is in the ion form minus 1 and it is in the form of plus 1 when it is in the ion form the name of the compound is going to change name of the element is going to change so here cl is there what is that uh, chloride. chloride okay ion it is in the ion form then we call it as what ends with the suffix ide ends with the suffix ide okay next gained two electrons okay. so oxygen when it is having the ion again it is going to end with the suffix ide next cation a positive ion cations we call it as just now i told you anion are having negative cation positive so formed by loss of electrons and anion is formed by gaining of electrons so more protons than electrons metal skin loses just now i have shown you metals can lose the electrons and non metals are going to gain the electrons so here k plus ion is there it has lost one electron name changes for positive ions is there any name change for the positive ion no the symbol of the element element name will be remain same okay let us take one example just now I have given aluminum hydroxide formula is ALOH taken thrice and KOH what is this potassium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide. so here K is a positive ion plus one ion potassium ion okay plus one charges there is no name for that what is the element name that is going to remain same so here K is called as potassium, OH is called as hydroxide. What is the suffix ending here? Ide. Ide. Clear? So Ca plus 2 also. So calcium plus 2 ions, it is also losing 2 electrons. It may be lose 1 electron, 2 electron, 3 electron or four electrons but it cannot lose five electrons it cannot lose five electrons clear and next if you see here there are the group numbers already yesterday class we have discussed that is this is the periodic table and here in the periodic table this group is divided into a group elements and b group elements here a group elements are in the periodic table always group number is written in the form of roman numbers right and this is called as a second a group elements these are called as b group elements in between the s and p block elements we call it as b group elements and here these group elements are what third a 4th a 5th a 6th a 7th a 7th and 8th Right. So here, these are the first year group elements. These all first year group elements from top to bottom. These elements are having what charge? Plus one charge. So in the students class, we have discussed that is the ele electrons present in the outermost shell in a first year group element is there is only one. When we see all the elements in the first year group element, number of electrons are one. Right. So that is the reason it is going to lose one electron all the elements in the first year group element has charge plus, plus one. one okay let me give an example what is the formula of a sodium chloride NAC. so how we are going to give this uh, so formula of sodium chloride first what is the symbol of sodium Na. symbol of sodium is na and chloride that telling what is that chlorine only no? yes. cl okay is that correct Sodium chloride, the common salt which we use in our daily life, right? So, sodium charge is plus, plus 1 and it is minus 1. Minus one. Sodium chloride. Clear. And next, coming to the second A group elements, plus 2 charge. Third A, plus, plus, three. Uh, plus 3. Plus 4. Four. Group number denotes the charge. Plus 4. Okay, group number denotes the number of electrons present in the outermost shell. So, in the third A group element, the number of electrons present is 3. 3. 
three electrons are present in the outermost shell. Coming to the fourth A, four electrons are present. Fifth A, there are five electrons present in the outermost shell. More how many electrons are required to become a stable element? Three. three. So that minus what three. happens here? It is going to gain three minus electrons. Three. Then it is minus, minus three. three. Minus three. Clear. So these are the elements which are going to have positive charges and these are the second A group elements all are having those are going to lose two electrons and it is going to get plus two charge and group three plus three four it may lose our four electrons again four electrons neither group A elements rarely form ions okay you can yesterday one example we have taken what is that example CCl4 carbon tetrachloride if one is there then we call it as mono 2 di 3 tri 4 tetra 5 penta so up, like that we are having up to 10 do you remember octa means what 8 octa means how many electrons should be there in the outermost shell 8 so attaining octet configuration means having 8 electrons in the outermost shell Okay, so here carbon tetrachloride, here when it is going to combine with the chlorine, that is a non-metal. Actually, carbon is a non-metal. Carbon is a non-metal. But here, what happened? It is going to combine with another non-metal atom. At that place, this carbon is acting as a metal. Carbon is acting as a metal. So that is the reason you are going to get the formula carbon tetrachloride. So depending upon the combining capacity of another element, the fourth A group elements, it may lose four electrons or it may gain four electrons. Clear? And next, 50A group element, charge minus will be three. minus three. Minus. So what are the suffix ending here? I Still now we have learned I the positive ions remains the same. The name of the element is going to remain same. Coming to the negative ions, the suffix is going to end with what? Ied. What is that? Ied. Nitride, phosphide, acetide. What is this? Oxide, Oxide. sulfide. Okay. Fluoride, chloride, bromide, iodide. 68, two ions. Minus two ions. Next, 70A, minus 1 ions, fluoride, chloride, bromide, iodide, zero. and 0. 0 group elements are nothing but noble gases. And we call it as the radioactive elements, or we call it as rare gases. So these gases are not from the in, in the atmosphere. It is very rare. At highest temperatures, we can find the noble gases. Okay, helium, you got an idea. Helium, where you will find that gas helium gas uh, in just the balloons. in the balloons where we are we are going to found that at very highest temperature okay and these are called as what group B, B group elements nothing but transition elements so these two are called as what s block elements the first a and second a group elements are called as s block elements we call it as alkali or alkaline earth metals Right, and coming to the P block elements, we call it as representative elements. What is that? Representative elements and the D block elements, which are present in between S and P block elements, we call it as transition elements. Below the periodic table, also we have two columns, right? So those are called as what inner transition elements. Now tell me, what are S block elements called as? Alkaline, alkaline, alkaline and alkaline earth metals. S block elements are alkali or uh, alkali alkaline or earth metals, right? And next, P block elements or transition elements. No, where are P blocks are present? Oh, to the right side, right? These are called as representative elements. D block elements, transition elements. F block elements, inner transition elements. F block elements are inner transition elements. So here, few of the elements in the group B are having variable valency. What is variable valency? 
ियम ऑलो Let us see few examples. Naming of cations. Okay, you know this one, right? Yesterday yes. class we have discussed how to name the cations. Like us, lower valency ends with the suffix us. Yes. Higher valency ends with the suffix ik. So always group number are represented by the Roman numbers. So S N is called as tin and P B is called as lead. Okay, tin is also having two valencies, plus two, plus four. Still, now we have seen plus one, plus two, plus two, plus three. Whereas coming to tin, we have two valencies, plus two and plus four. And when our element is also having it, when for what potassium or phosphorus, four comma it is having four or five. Phosphorus is having three. Potassium one only. It belongs to phosphate group element. So lead Pb plus two, Pb plus four. They may ask which elements are having plus two and plus four valencies. Which tin and lead are having plus two and plus four valencies. So here, what are the ionic charges? Here, ionic compounds or ionic charges are nothing but a compound which is having both positive and negative charges. Is called as what? Ionic compounds. What is the example? Just now we have discussed. Which compound is ionic? Uh, which compound is ionic? Uh, Lead. No. C. I am asking compound, not element. C C L. Hmm. C C L. Okay. Let us take the common salt C N A C L. It is having plus charge, minus charge. Can we call it as an ionic compound? Yes, ma'am, because it is. It is so called having both positive and negative. negative. We have taken one more example: yes. aluminium. Let us take aluminium sulfate. AlSO4 taken yes. thrice and Al2. Why? Because here the charge minus. is minus two, and here it is plus, plus three. three. When we do the crisscross, so in this compound also we are having two ions: positive ion and Negative ion. If there are having positive ion and negative ion, then we call it as a ionic compound. Clear? Shreyash, is that clear? What is the definition of the ionic compound? What is mean by ionic compound? If an if a compound having both positive ion and negative ion, then we call it as a ionic compound. Right? Okay, ma'am. Okay, silver, Ag plus, zinc, Zn plus two, cadmium, Cd plus two. Okay, do not need to use Roman numerals for these. For which one? Like silver, cadmium, zinc. Okay. Hmm. Give the names of these. Sodium. Sodium. Calcium. Aluminium, aluminium, iron, mm. uh, iron, iron, mm. iron, plumber, mm. lithium, lithium. Okay, is that correct? Write down, write in your books. What is this? Positive charges. Sodium. Sodium. Okay, it is not in the combined state. It is in the elemental form. Then we call it as sodium ion. If suppose if it is in this form, sodium chloride, then we are going to tell the name as sodium only. But here it is given in which form? Charge. Charge form. Then you should tell it is a sodium ion. 
it is also calcium sodium ion oh, and this is what calcium, calcium ion aluminum okay aluminum ion like that next here you are getting the difference one is lower valency and next one is the higher valency yeah, what you find it ferrous ah, ferrous oh, ferric and this is ferric, ferric. Lower valency ends with the suffix as. Higher valency ends with the suffix ik. And here, lead. PB is called as what? Lead ion. And here, lithium ion. So, this is the way where we are going to give the name. Okay. Then, So write the symbols for this. Now write down the symbols. What are the symbols? First write down. First write down. Just write down the symbols. Potassium ion. Potassium belongs to which group? First. First group. Now what is the ion charge? Plus one. Plus one. Can I give the like this? K plus one. K plus 1 or K plus. Magnesium ion belongs to which group? Second group. Mg plus 2. Plus 2. Copper 2 ion is it? 2 means the Roman number 2 tells the charge. What is it? Plus 2. What is it? Plus 2. See you. See copper is a metal. Metals have positive charge. Like that. Copper is a metal. Metals are having positive charge. Coming to the chromium. Cr plus 4. 4? 6. It is Cr plus 6. 4 means this one, no? Then plus 6. And next, barium ion. Barium belongs to which group is? I am giving a hint. Barium belongs to second group. Second plus 2. Plus 2. And mercury, already they have given the valency. Mercury symbol is what? Symbol of mercury, Shreyash. Shreyash, are you there? What is the symbol of mercury, Shreyash? Voice. Voice. Okay. Symbol of mercury. Symbol of mercury. Is it? And what they have given here? Two. Plus now plus, plus, plus two. This is the way where we are going to write the symbols of these ions. Right? Okay, you, this you know, always it is going to, uh, shall I uh, conduct a test yes. where you are going to write that one, PET, P-H-E-T, right? Okay, today we will play this game. Okay, now try to do. 16 protons, 16 electrons. Then what is the mass number here? 34. Is it 34? Shreyash, what is the mass number of sulfur? Mass. Mass number of sulfur. And what is the charge? Oh, she's asking doubt. Ma'am, mass number of sulfur thirty-two. Okay. 
16 plus 18 how much? 34. But here they have given neutrons as 18. Shreyash, neutrons they have given as 18. What is the mass number actually? 34. Uh, 32, 32. And neutrons, we call it as a mass number. But here in the question, they have given the neutrons as 18. Okay, but actually the mass number of sulfur is 32, but they have changed the question here. So here 16 plus 18 is nothing but 34. Okay, and what is the charge? So here we have both protons and electrons same. Then it is a neutral atom or ion? It is a? neutral atom. If protons and electrons both are same, then we call it as neutral zero. Right. Actually, sulfur atomic number is 16 and the mass number is 32. But in the question, they changed. Representing as a neutral atom, what is the mass number of the sulfur? Right. Okay. This one? Identify? What is this called as proton, neutron, two electrons? Okay. Two electrons. Okay. One proton is there. How many neutrons and protons? Ma what is the mass number? Two. Number of two. Neutrons is four. Mass number is two. Okay. If protons are one, then number of electrons should be? One. One. But here we have? Two. two. That is nothing but it is gaining one electron. What is the charge? Minus one. Is that correct? Right. And next one? Charge. Charges. Uh, charges two. Not charges two. There's no electron. There's only one. There, uh, see, hydrogen, proton is one. Mass number is proton and neutron two. Now, what is a charge? What is a charge? One, there are no electrons, so no charge. Actually, one proton is there means one electron should be there. But here there is no electron. A yes, Shreyash? Shreyash, what is the charge of this compound? Ne element? What is the charge of the element? I'm positive. Okay. Plus one or minus one? Okay. Plus one or plus two? Plus one. Very good. Let me check. Yeah, good. Next. Divya Sri, are you there? Divya Sri, can you hear me? Divya Sri. So here? Okay. 9 protons, 10 electrons. 9 and 9, it should be equal. But 1 electron is extra. Add 1 electron. Okay. 9, 19 they have given. Right. What is the ion? 1 electron is? Uh, uh, 1 electron is more. Then we call it as gaining 1 electron. By gaining 1 electron, it is going to have minus 1. Right. Divya? Yeah. Okay, what is this? One proton. Right. And the charge is, one electron is lost, plus one. And the mass number will be one. Right. Okay. So, okay, today we are going to end with this game. In the next class, we will go with the molecule. How the molecule is going to build. What is the shape of the molecule? Right. And here? Hmm. Ah. Okay. In the next class, I will discuss you how we are going to build a molecule. What is the shape of the molecule? How these are going to attract? We'll see in the next class. Meanwhile, in the language of chemistry, we have completed the subtopics. That is, what is the symbol of the element? Valency, charges, and atom, subatomic particles, anion, cation, and crisscross method. These all subtopics we have completed in the language of chemistry. Next one is about the chemical formula. How to give the name of the chemical formula. We will see in the next class. Okay. Thank you all of you.